It's Wednesday, March 7th, and your stories today are FinCEN weighs in on ICOs, Merriam-Webster adds crypto lingo to its dictionary, and is Ryan Gosling secretly a developer? Let's find out. Hello world, welcome back to The Comet. Yesterday, the U.S. Financial Crimes Enforcement Network published a letter that implies that agency will apply its regulations to those who conduct initial coin offerings. In a letter, Drew Maloney, FinCEN's Assistant Secretary for Legislative Affairs, stated that anti-money laundering and combating the financing of terrorism requirements apply to money service business developers and exchangers, which should include none other than ICOs. The letter stated, generally under existing regulations and interpretations, a developer that sells convertible virtual currency, including in the form of ICO coins or tokens, in exchange for another type of value that substitutes for a currency, is a money transmitter and must comply with AML CFT requirements. So what does this all mean? Well. Any group of developers or individual developer who both sold newly created tokens to U.S. residents and failed to register with FinCEN as a money transmitter and perform compliance obligations can be charged with a federal offense. Yikes. But what about the SEC and the CFTC and their regulations and all of that? Well, Maloney stressed that ICO arrangements vary and certain participants involved in an ICO could fall under the authority of the Securities and Exchange Commission or the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, depending on whether or not the sale involves securities or derivatives. So nothing to see here, guys. Just a few government organizations playing whose regulations bigger. In other news, Merriam-Webster has added 850 new terms to its online dictionary. They added words like mansplaining, glamping, which is glamorous camping for those of you that don't know, wordy, life hack, and dumpster fire which if you're wondering is a noun and defined as an utterly calamitous or mismanaged situation or occurrence disaster. The hashtag universe did leave its mark on Merriam-Webster, but so did crypto. They created entries for cryptocurrency, blockchain, Bitcoin, and initial coin offering. Merriam-Webster stated on their website, quote, the sometimes perplexing domain of digital financial exchanges opens a window into a subject that requires explanation for many of us." End quote. You know what I find to be perplexing, Webster? Embiggen, a word The Simpsons made up 22 years ago, was used enough by people today to make it a real word. And finally, a shady cryptocurrency startup that is using a stock photo of Ryan Gosling as their lead graphic designer has almost raised a million dollars in an initial coin offering. The company Morosky has attracted the attention of Reddit users with its straight up tenacity. On the company's website, Morosky listed their team with what is now confirmed by Reddit and Twitter to all be ripped images from the internet. The weirdest part about all this is that the other photos are not of celebrities, just real people with different names that are not associated with the company whatsoever. Kevin Blanger, also known as Fake Ryan Gosling, is listed as a graphic designer with a clear focus on identities and illustration. In the world of graphic design, a focus on brand identity is to focus on how the brand is viewed. But to focus on identity and illustration doesn't even make sense. It just adds to the irony of using a fake person as your identity specialist. The company's website is full of red flags and Morosky has yet to share its white paper with its investors. So we can chalk this up to a not so crafty scammer. Unless you're willing to believe that Ryan Gosling decided to quit acting to pursue his love of graphic arts. Well, that's our comment for the day, but what do you think? Is Finson on the right track for regulating ICOs or should they stay out of it? Could Miriam Webster add another blockchain term to their website to help people understand it? Shard, perhaps, so that people can talk about sharding and know what they're talking about? And who will be the next fake celebrity to sell us on an ICO? Let me know, tweet at me, have a wonderful day. Don't forget to leave a comment. Join me back here on the comment as I catch you up on the latest in Ethereum and blockchain. If you like this episode, let me know by clicking the thumbs up. 
If you didn't like this episode, let me know by clicking the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you get all the newest episodes of The Comment as they air by clicking that alert button. That's that bell looking thing next to the word subscribe. If you miss our latest episodes, you can catch up on ethnews.com or on YouTube or just subscribe so you don't miss them anymore, silly. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at ethnewsy. That's at ethnewsci. And we'll see you next time.